guys. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update. We are back on track. Uh, we're going back the way we would have come up if we didn't hit the highway at Hanseville. So this is Tat Tatlaoko Lake Road. <clears throat> we're just airing down. We've got about 30 kilometers before we hit the lake. And then we're going to set up camp. And hopefully stay there for a couple of days because it's supposed to be just beautiful. Again, open range. And we are back on dirt. <clears throat> Looks like there's a B and B down there too. Very cool. Alright, well I think Dario's just about finished airing down. Next stop, Tatlaoka Lake. Now I know we've mentioned this before, but these roads are simply stunning. Um, for a gravel road, all I can say is wow. Uh, maintained incredibly well. Sorry, it is a little windier out here, um, but you can just see, just absolutely stunning scenery. On a clear day, this would be postcard. And of course, there's signs everywhere. Watch out for livestock on highway. And lo and behold, yes. Cute little cows. Oh, some babies. But they're everywhere. You gotta be pretty much on your toes. Okay, I am off. Oh, and there is the rig. Uh, almost 1900 kilometers so far. And awesome.
go. We finally see a moose. Finally. That thing's massive. And I'm a fair ways away. So this is the northeast entrance to the provincial campsite. Um, Tracy and I were quite excited when we got here, uh, but as you can see, it's a beautiful campsite, but it is well above the lake. Um, so we drove through here, tried to find a place to camp. Um, According to an online source, there's seven campsites here, but uh, from the size of it, it's considerably larger. Um, you could fit a lot more than seven people in here, uh, or seven trailers. Um, very nice, but again, like I said, it's uh, high above the lake. Um, no real easy access to the lake. So we ended up uh, driving through here and keeping this as uh, a last resort to stay at. Um, decided to go a little further down the road and see if we could find another spot and sure enough uh, we found a little slice of paradise and uh, we're quite glad that uh, we did go down. Um, but in a pinch this would do very nicely. And lo and behold, about uh, 10 minutes down the road from the provincial campsite, we came across this. And uh, surprisingly enough, we almost drove by it. Um, Tracy stopped me and uh, said, hey, let's go check this out. So sure enough, we did. And we're really glad we did. This spot turned out to be beautiful. Um, it might not look like much at this point, but the campsite we got was literally right on the lake and just wait till you see the pictures at the end. Well worth it. Welcome to Tatlayoko, I think I pronounced that right, Lake. Um, beautiful, beautiful spot. As you can tell, we have literally a lakefront spot. We have a little bit of a fire going. And there is about 80% of our setup. Uh, you have the rooftop tent with the fox wing out. Uh, we don't have the annex. We have one of the walls in behind Tracy there to kind of block the wind, make life a little nicer. And Fiona. Uh, tonight we're doing uh, a recipe that we saw on uh, another YouTube channel. I'm 
trying to remember whether it was um, Barbecue Pit Boys or Sam the Cooking Guy, uh, but it's uh, pizza in cast iron. Uh, they did it on, on a fire, um, and I believe Sam did it on his cast iron on his stove. We're doing it on the stove. Um, it's a little too windy to put um, charcoal out and it'd be blowing around like crazy right now. Uh, anyways, so I'm trying to hide behind a tree because it is a little windy. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a show around. It's a nice little campsite. Beautiful mountains in the background, as you can see. And it's actually quite, quite large. Um, this looks like it's a community um, fairground, park, whatever, but it has camping, which is rather nice. And there's a couple of uh, bathrooms up there in the back and some shelters um, for community or whoever use. This campsite is by donation, so Tracy and I will be leaving a donation because this is, this is a place we will come back to. It's beautiful here. And it's not that far off of Highway 20. Very peaceful. Pretty much like any any other lake that you visit. Uh, it gets windy at certain times of day, but after that, it's just fantastic. All right, so we'll head down and see how dinner's coming.